Hey everyone, Josh again. So last video we talked about um, the Tessin habit and how it started off as a thick base and worked to a slender tip. This group here is the opposite. This starts at a narrow base and works to a thicker termination. And I call this a radiating quartz. And we didn't really have um, any discussion or terminology for this. And I asked people about it. I said, well, what, what should we call it, you know? And it just kind of seemed fitting to say uh, radiating quartz. So anyhow, radiating, going as spreading out. All of these pieces have it. As you can see, this one's a really nice smoky uh, with a little bit, a bit of phantoming, really. Uh, this one here um, has a very odd termination, um, but as you can see, goes from very narrow to, th to thick at the termination. This one isn't as noticeable, um, but it, w when you look at it, it truly is a... a, a radiating quartz and this one was a beautiful radiating quartz and I thought quite quite a showstopper really for its for its type. Still got some damage but hey you know when you're working float material you get what you get and you don't throw a fit but as you guys can see you can see the growth lines in all of these and uh, again you know one of the notable things in in most of these that I have found is the Dauphine um, it has this elongated um, facies, and the other ones are kind of stunted. And this one was the only one that grew out. So, and this is quite an interesting piece. And it's a regrowth also, you can tell there. So, not too sure what this little flashy dot is over here in the screen. I'm assuming it's some water in between one of the lattices, giving it a little reflective quality. So there you go, guys. That is um, that is the radiating compared to the Tessin. So you can see how one is zing and one is zang. And they're just growing quite opposite of each other. The Tessin here, the radiating here. Thanks, guys.